What is going on, Arkansas Razorback fans, SEC fans everywhere? Welcome. It is the one, the only, Pig Trail Network. I'm its hosting and creator, Ty Hudson. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Mine wasn't too bad. No complaints. We're going to start the week off, however, talking about Arkansas Razorback football recruiting. But before we get into all that, if you guys would, at the end of the video, like, comment, share the content that you just watched. And of course, if you haven't already, feel free to tap the subscribe button. And of course, feel free to check out the links down below in the description box. And don't forget the notification bell. Let's get into it. I have been to Texas and Arkansas. My next one will be to Ohio State. Uh, this one really helped Arkansas. Like I said, it was amazing. Those are the words of four-star defensive tackle out of the state of Texas, Vernon Broughton. I don't, I don't know if Arkansas actually lands this kid, but the fact that Arkansas has made his, it sounds to me like they've made his short list if he were to have one out today. I, he didn't say that. He doesn't have a short list as far as I know, and there's no announcement date. But the fact that they're this high up on this kid, Who's considered one of the best players in the state of Texas says a lot. We know that we know Chad Morris. This is in his DNA. He wants to go to Texas. He wants to recruit the the living crap out of Texas. He's had tremendous success in that state, and he's had tremendous success along the defensive line. Broughton is considered almost a five star. He's a four star. He's a rivals one hundred player. He's a twenty four seven top one hundred player. And Arkansas is in pretty good shape. I mean, you heard him. This really helped Arkansas. That this visit really helped. The Hogs. He's got he's got a host of offers. Arkansas offered him back at the end of uh, January of this year. They offered him, but he had already had offers from I think LSU, Ohio State, Tennessee. Name a Power Five school. They probably offered him. Supposedly, according to Twenty Four Seven Sports, they still like him. You know, their crystal ball is is Texas. I've I've, I've talked to other people who said, yeah, it's probably going to end up between Texas, Alabama. In A&M, but Arkansas might be in the mix as well there towards the end. Like I said, he doesn't have a, a top list out. He, had, he doesn't have a announcement date. But this is big for the Razorbacks. Arkansas has had tremendous success at recruiting along the defensive line. Now, again, what's surprising about this, Arkansas has never pulled a, a rivals or, or 24-7 sports 100 player out of the state of Texas ever at least since the the age of recruiting services you know of all the dot coms of all the the dot com recruiting services i guess i should say so this would be huge this is this would probably be the most talented player maybe that they've ever pulled out of texas if they can get him to commit now obviously there's a long we've got a long ways to go before signing day but anything is possible i like what arkansas is doing taking on the state of texas they don't care that texas and a&m and you know, Oklahoma, Alabama has offers, and maybe a player's, you know, big on those schools. They're still going to aggressively pursue these other kids. And it's not to say that other coaching staffs haven't done that at Arkansas before, but you don't feel as confident in landing them with other coaching staffs like you do this one. I think they have a legitimate shot here. Again, I'm not saying he commits to Arkansas. He really liked his visit. His parents loved the visit. He brought, apparently, a number of uh, family members with him on this official visit. Uh, he's got that Ohio State visit coming up, and he's uh, you know, he's already taken, I think he's had several unofficial visits to Texas A&M. So we'll have to wait and see how this one all pans out. It goes without saying that Arkansas would, would yet again have, uh, you know, another addition, uh, another big-time addition at the defensive line spot in this class. They've been able to do it with Dorian Gerald in 2018. They did it last year with all the talent they were able to bring in there. And then you add this kid to the 2020 class, that would be huge. So that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Remember to like, comment, share, all that wonderful stuff. Until the next video, Woo Pig.